My name is Winetia Miarina. I'm, I'm an activist. Okay, they call me an information and programs officer at where I work, but I'm, I believe I'm a servant of women. I'm a feminist activist based in Harare, Zimbabwe, and I'm currently working with an organization called That's for Sisterhood. I'm a sex worker activist. Uh, I'm driven really by experiences of female sex workers, I'm specifically working with female sex workers and I also work with lesbians and bisexual women. In Zimbabwe I think we all know that our political situation has not been the best of political situations which means this has also greatly affected uh, the livelihoods of most young women uh, or most families um, and women are more affected by the current you know economic uh, situation that we find ourselves in. You know, when the electricity bill comes and when the water bill comes, they never ask you where you got the money from. What they want is the money. When the children need to eat, they need to eat. So a lot of women, I think, have been forced into engaging in sex work as a means of ensuring that their families are taken care of, of ensuring that their own children actually happen to go to school. Okay, you can politicize the fact that we live in a patriarchal society. Um, but yes, um, the political environment is bad, but also we are working with people who have um, attitudes about how women should, how women's bodies are supposed to be used. You know, a decent woman is supposed to be in the home. I've been told this when I was arrested once, that you can't be out at night, decent women are sleeping, so you can only be a sex worker because they're out at night. There have been shifts. Um, in terms of maybe attitudes uh, in some societies and even amongst the women themselves uh, because I believe the starting point is starting working with the women and how they view themselves, how they view their bodies. I keep saying I want to see Liberia in Zimbabwe where women are able to collectively strategize and act on issues affecting them and I feel that what we're doing right now is like a catalyst in ensuring that women start doing that.